What I found out is quite surprising. I didn't even think this was possible, but I guess it is. Easy solution once you figure it out. So the history of this 1998 Grizzly 600 is that the guy was driving it in the morning and it worked and he parked and then uh, that afternoon he went out to go and start it and had a no spark condition and he was unable to figure out what was causing it. So now it's my turn. I've been fighting with this Grizzly 600 for a while. It's got a no spark condition. I have changed the coil and spark plug, swapped it between a running machine and this one. I did the same thing for the computer, the CDI, back in there. And I've tested the wires, I've tested the pulse coil, and I've tested the uh, source coil, and they both check out good, and it looks like it's a new stator just based on the, the shininess of the wires. So now, the other option would be is uh, we got a bad wiring harness and I jumped the wire coming right out of the CDI all the way to the coil. And I'm not getting any signal when I use my voltmeter right at the CDI. So it's gotta be something, it's gotta be something in the stator. And I, I'm at a loss, so I'm gonna open it up and uh, I guess, see what's going on I flipped the quad over on its side that saves me from having to drain the oil uh, it doesn't have a pull pull start on it so it makes things a little bit easier you have to work your way around with an 8 mil crack all those loose uh, take off the shifter there's three 12 mils and then uh, you have to break this loose which is a 17 mil, and I like to use just a, uh, a crowbar tie iron kind of thing. And I'll stick it in through the cracks here, find a spot, and then I'll wedge it into one of those holes in the footrest and uh, give it a couple of hard tugs, and it usually just pops loose. And uh, that's pretty much your steps to disassemble this. Looking at this, everything looks nice and clean. The one thing I've noticed for sure, somebody has been in here. These screw bolts are different colors, which suggests that uh, two might be original and one might be replaced. And when I look at the pulse coil, I see a screw bolt and a Allen uh, bolt. And notice the wear. See the wear on this? And then I'm looking at it and the wires are kind of contorted and tight. I think that this is upside down. So I'm going to flip it over and uh, put it back together and see if I, uh, see if I get a spark then. That's how I think it's supposed to be. I'm going to put this back together now and test it. Easy solution once you figure it out.